What is up, YouTube? We're back in the video. It's here, we're going over everything we learned about Madden 25. We have a lot to go over. A ton of things have to go over. Firstly, we got our Hall of Fame cards. We have Devin Hester, Dwight Franey, and um, Julius Peppers. Let me be honest with you guys, for pre-ordering the game, there is not even, it's not really a decision at this point. It's going to be Hester. Pick Hester. Hester is by far the number one player in your, my opinion. Um, is there another thing in here? Um, it's checking back. Uh, maybe. Okay. And then there's also these cards right here. This is from pre-ordering it for a while, a while, pretty while, like a while ago. D Hop on Honey Badger. Picked Honey Badger. D Hop. Yeah, he's 81 speed. No point. It's gonna. His choice is easily Honey Badger. And then, going back now to more recent, now going to what we learned about today. If you do your solos in Ultra Alumni, it's like 25, 25 solos you have to do around. You get 70 stars in them and cut. You get um, three Ultra Alumni cards and you can turn them into 85. To get this 85 right on um, the 85 right here, you have Josh Heightened Allen, which is the Josh Allen, but the defense one. A2 speed, decent stats. You have Saquon, he's a pretty good running back. He's one of the fastest running backs in the game, day one. Like the first week of the game. Then you have Miles Garrett. To be honest, um, I feel like, I don't, okay, Saquon is really, really, really good, yes. I don't think Saquon's the pick here. I don't think he's the pick. I feel like it. it's either, jo I feel like Miles Garrett's going to be a, probably a, a monster. It's going to be between Josh Allen and Miles Garrett. My, my choice would be. Saquon is really good, but I think just because there is all the running backs in the game day one, I think they might be. I think they might. The defense players are just better. Training camp. Uh, we have 80 overall. Um, T. Higgins, Drum Baker, and Drum Baker actually is pretty fast. He's not that bad. Then C. Stroud. Then a couple, a little bit of field pass right here. You get 80 overall. Higgins, some packs, some coins. Some challenge rewards. You get. 80 overall fantasy packs, some coins, some packs. Um, they're all, it's okay. Like, he, Higgins will probably won't even play for you. And the card, only card that will play for you will be Drum Baker. Team captains. Um, you get to pick and choose, um, how many, you get, so you get, I think you get all the captains at the start, like all, at 78s. You get all the 78s, but then you upgrade to 83. Um, in the eight, the ones you have, you have Troy Vincent, which he's maxed out eight three overall, is eighty one speed, decent stuff. You have Jeff Saturday, Jason Witten, um, Manti Teo, and um, Mike Tolbert. My personal opinion, the best one is probably between Jeff Saturday or Tolbert because they're in just positions that like are helpful ish. I don't think Troy Vincent. He's okay if you need corner that bad, you can do him. But I feel like Jeff Saturday is probably the pick. He's, you can always take free old line. And free old line, it's always nice to have a free old, a free old lineman. Um, Ultimate preseason. This is our first program of the year. The program comes out day one of the game. And everyone, we get, you so everyone gets a 78 overall. Sam Cosme. He can be upgraded to 82 by the end of the program. And also there is, um, there's a, there's a team cam for, uh, that gives you a plus one catch, plus one speed if you get all nine for all the preseason. The LTDs is Lane Johnson. He looks pretty deep. He looks pretty good. Then you have Douglas. He looks really, really good. Russell Douglas, like this card, is will be he could play probably in cut right now. And he'll be, still be really good. Like, this card's stats are ridiculous. 88 man, 88 zone. He could get up to 90 man or 90 zone probably in, like with stat cards. Maybe. He's a ridiculous he's a ridiculous card. Then you have your champions. Most are really fast, good break tackle. This dude's gonna be insane. That's why I say don't pick Saquon, there's no reason. Mark Cooper. Mark Cooper looks really good. Stafford, I don't think Stafford's a move. I feel like going with a more like a more mobile quarterback will be the move. Personally. Unless he gets like I don't know if he's cards I don't know what their abilities or anything, but I don't think Stafford is the move. Um this guy. Really, really fast edge rusher, or 
he's a very very fast user edge rusher whatever you want he looks really good for he looks really good you have um the safety from the lions looks pretty he's like six he's six three 85 speed 86 zone pretty good zone safety good deep safety really good. then this d tackle he's really good good stats all around and he's fast for d tackle and all that he's pretty good hues wise down doesn't really look that good. Parnum is awful. Cushionberry has everything above 80 that you really would need except for strength. So I actually don't think it's a bad card. Like I back Blackman, he's not awful. He's just you have to play him zone with him. Not zone man. He's actually he's probably he's actually better than he's pretty good for a cheap card. Um Carl is okay. Very okay. Nate has a very high power move and block shed but he has no zone he's decent he's like a very mid card the 85 set costs three a twos to a threes and then two ultimate precinct cards for a twos then you have um two eight two eight to make it a two overall you need 579 to 80 overalls which is actually not a terrible set field pass wise you get some coins some t bnd touchdown pack ace fantasy pack upgrade token and then A2 overall B and D pack. Um, these are early access solos, so they expire on um, when the game. Like this is only for people that got the pre-order in like the early edition of the game. So, pretty early program. Oh, uh, then season one field pass and players. This thing is this field pass is very big for everyone starting the game. Program it's called season of boom. That's the season name. There's new tickets and all that stuff, but. Let's go over the season one cards. We got Max Crosby. These all cards all get 32 chems and all that stuff. Max Crosby, pretty good card. Really, 84 speed. Looks really good. Uh, except for the power move. He looks a pretty good card. McCaffrey. I think McCaffrey's best running back in the game. Day one. Or whenever you can get him. He looks like the best running back in the game. He, lo he looks insane. And good, good change of direction, good speed, excel, agility, catch, carrying, break tackle. He's really good. Especially for a free hit running back. Like Allstott, he's a pretty good. He's actually pretty good too. He's a pretty good player. Ray Lewis, he looks really good. Good user. Heinz Ward looks cracked. This card looks crazy good. My personal opinion, I think McCaffrey's number one though out of this pack. And then you go Heinz, then Heinz Ward. And then Crosby. Then Ray Lewis and Mike Allstott. They're all crazy cards. But hopefully you can get more than one. If you don't can't get more than one, that sucks, but. I feel like the number one choice is either Heinz Ward or McCaffrey. Then there's new epic challenges. Um, you get a Hail Mary pack with some coins, rush it back, and Ace Fantasy for doing that. You see one fan your season one field pass, you get some you get some players, some strats, some tickets, some tokens for your, to upgrade your player up and overall. And then Yeah, that's basically it. Then you have a season one field pass ticket rewards. Every level you get some tickets. Or something like that. Not bad. Um, ticket offers. 75 tickets, you get 81 overall. Upgrade token, A2. For a 125, you get A2. 200, you get A3. 275, you get a 70 plus fantasy pack. Honestly, I don't think any of these packs are be worth buying. At 625, you get an 84 pack. On 925 token, you get 85. So it looks like right here. For like 1,500 tokens. So... You get, 80, you get a player from 80 to 85 based on tickets wise. So that's going to cost like 1550, 1750, um, 1875, and like 1950. 1950 is going to, you're not going to get, you're, that's going to take you a while to get your tickets with the 1950. That's going to take until like, uh, like probably like around here, like level 1920. You start level 10. So I mean, that's pretty you'll get him pretty early in the year, I guess. Hopefully. Um Then we're going over season of boom. This promo comes out on Thursday, August 15th, when the game comes out. Two out three years. This promo has some pretty good cards. This card looks really he's A N overall like upgrades A3. This card looks really good for a free card. Uh, you get some um New abilities called extra pop and for the form tackler. I think I think their abilities maybe maybe they're extra. I don't know. And you also you see the boom cams, which probably gives you like speed or something. LTDs we have Derrick Henry. 
Derrick Henry just does he's not better than McCaffrey. There's no I don't he's not better. No reason to buy him. He's not better than McCaffrey. Then you have Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey is good, but he's not better than Mr. Douglas. So I don't know. Champions wise, we have Josh Allen. QB1. Josh Allen is, QB, is going to QB1. We have Mike Evans. He is not he's he's okay. I mean he's a tall receiver. He's decent speed. He's not he's not the best receiver, but he's pretty good still. Cam Chancellor is pretty good. Except he can't play man. He's not, I don't even think he might be the best safety in the game. Not 100 percent sure about that, but he is he's pretty good. His feet speed is pretty good. Quincy Williams. He is uh gonna be a pass coverage guy. We don't really know zone or zone or anything. Actually, I can check that in a second, but he's okay. He's A2 is um, Beach Jim looks pretty good. BJ Oz BJ Ojalari is good. You set to, er, to make eight, uh, make eight, 85 champ set. It costs three A, two A, threes, and two boom um, players. To create an A, two boom hero is 380 booms and one A, 78 boom. And uh, then the other stuff. Extend boom token for your choice of a 78 overall player, 80 plus player, or uh, 35k quick so. Expect them to do it three times. Field pass, you get Boom Stratum, which gives you plus 10 pit power, truck, plus 5 pursuit, plus 5 break tackle to all Boom players for until the end of the month. Then you get some fantasy packs for your, and you get some Boom tokens. Do that, do that set, and you get A3 overall for level 9. Wait, you get A3 or field pass player, which uh, I don't know what that is, maybe? I, I don't think they showed that in here. Oh, no, that's BJ, that's BJ Jolari, never mind. He's a free card at level 9. Uh, then you get some challenge rewards, you get some more tokens and some packs, you know. Not bad. Card art is really cool about, on those cards. What shape rewards? We have Alex Anzoli, or Zoli, I don't know how to pronounce the name. He looks okay. Pretty fast. Pretty good cover. I mean, he's not bad. He's a pretty good card. Jordan Battle, not bad for his safety, just isn't the best in safety. He's a B and D. Then you have Quinn, this guy, he's a pretty decent right, pretty decent right guard, good for a free guard. So a lot of then you have your all your much champ stuff. You get sixteen to twenty ones, you get a much champs like you get to choose one of these three players for your team, some other stuff. Then you have um, we can Gauntlet. Your Gauntlet guys are. Um, first 500 people get Mata Sweat, like get the get the like cool version of Mata Sweat and Nico Collins, which have I think just extra abilities on stuff. These cards look crazy. Nico looks pretty good. Better Mike Evans. Mata Sweat looks really really good, really good. Asic speed really fast. Rewards. I'm, I think it's cost 50k to get in probably. Get 50k entry. If you don't get it for much champs. So you can get three wins to get your coins back, get some packs, get some, you yeah, know, packs and coins and all that stuff. Then you have head to head ranked. Um, so the first rank, um, okay, so the first rank that season ends on October 1st, which sucks and all. It's really annoying that that happens. And whatever division you end in is what card you're going to get at, um. So, if you're in the Legend Division, which is top top one, you get A9 Ed Reed, and he is crazy. His card is crazy, but in October, I don't think his card is going to be that crazy on, in October. If you get champs, you get this really good cop hit card looking like, looking right now. Hero Division, you get this A7 Omani, then going down each one, you get lower Omani. Omani, Omani looks pretty good, honestly, but in two months... He, or a month and a half, a little over a month and a half. He's not gonna be that great, I don't think. The card looks cool and all that. Grand Forge, you get some season tickets. You get some packs. The event ends on the 3rd of September. And one thing to go over, guys. Um, the last thing we're gonna be going over is what the GG stuff is all up. So we can just go check every stat, like all the stats for all, every card. We're gonna go check the zone for like, this dude. Okay, I think his zone should be up here, right? 81 zone, 74 man. There's another guy that we wanted to check, right? Uh, Al Kai Smith. Nope, that's not him. 
Nine. There was another. Let's go check. There was a linebacker we wanted to go check his speed. That speed is um, his coverage stats. I'm pretty sure. Let's go through. Who was the guy? All right, actually, let's go. Let's go back down here. We had it was in season of bloom. I'm pretty sure. Let's go in down. Quincy Williams. I guess it isn't in here yet because I guess he isn't out yet technically. But there's a lot of cards in here. Like, if you want to go speed wise. Which, I, which the good thing about Mutt compared to Cut is look, there's cards like Xavier Worthy right here. He's a 75 overall player with 86 speed. It's awesome. He's gonna be he's gonna be a, he's gonna be a, a expensive gold to pull. If really fast, he's really fast. Can't really do anything else except for a run, but speed kills. This game. You then you have like you have 80 over on Nick Bolton, which. Goals, he has an 85 speed linebacker. Really good start to the year. Uh, then you have another linebacker. Um, this is probably another, like a, this could be a user, bro. 6'4", 84 speed linebacker. Use, he's gonna, be a, he's gonna be, if linebackers can jump, he's gonna be a user for sure. A really good user. Then you have a six foot corner. Kalan Barnes, 84 speed. Just give me like a guy that you maybe I don't know maybe play it safe or something. I don't know. Another outside linebacker, six six. Oh, uh, what's the COD? Sixty seven. So he'll give me like a pass rusher, really fast pass rusher. He actually he has good he has good COD. You can you can actually use him. I would probably use Troy Anderson honestly. He's really good looking like if if linebackers can jump. Then you have a lot of other fast fast guys like Jordan Brooks. You can like look. These dudes are so fast. These gold, uh, bro, a 71, a 71 overall right end has 84 speed, like, bro, speed is so, like, people are so fast here in this game. 83 speed, 84 speed safety, this guy could be a safety, he could, he could be a user. We have 6'3 guy, another 84 speed. Evan Ingram, I mean, we actually don't already knew about his speed. But like, these guys are so fast, and, like, they're gonna be usable, they're gonna be used on so many teams, all these golds. It's gonna be so nice when you just when you just open like get a player packs or recruit packs or whatever in the game, and you just pull some of these golds and they, you just sell them. You can sell them for so much, but these are gonna be expensive because they're so fast. Like, why are these cards so fast? Like, okay, you see all these cards that are eighty four speed. Look at all the top linebackers, eighty one speed. Uh, eight eighty overall speed, eighty two speed. Like, they're all slow compared to these other ones. Jerome Baker's good. Like, I would if before the game comes out, guys, I'll be looking looking around and you're like looking for cards that are, that are like you want to actually like maybe get on your team. Like, you go in here and look. Just, you can literally just look up like players. What you want to go for your team wise? Like, obviously, I'd want Xavier Worthy my team, bro. This dude's fast. He's everything you'd ever want. Actually, and also the theme teams in here. I check my little checking the Vikings out. I see that we have JJ. I mean, Diggs technically. We have Jordan Addison, he's slow. How's Diggs looking? Okay. Something out. Like, you can just look at each player. Check out how, check what their stats are looking like right now. Like, who's, who's like a guy? Let's just go over here. Let's go over here. Let's go check out. So we have Etienne right here. He's slow. But halfback position, actually a pretty slow position. Like, who's the fast halfback in the game? That's a good question. You just go check here, go speed, let's go look at him. You have the fast run back in the game is going to be um, this dude right here, Isaac. 83 speed halfback, he's the fast halfback in the game for cards, for core cards wise. Then they're on A chain, like this guy's going to be like sort of budget. Your speed kills always in Madden. You gotta remember that. Five quarterback. Why is fast quarterback than Jay Daniels? Like Jay Daniels and Justin Fields might not be awful quarterbacks like Kyler. Anthony Richardson, like, I think Anthony Richardson getting a better he's an 80 overall card, I think. That's actually pretty decent. But make sure you guys like just go look around. Like look around what you want. Like look around at Monday GG, look at some cards. Get your solo challenge done and, and cut. Get everything done you need to do and cut. And all that. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all. Next time.